Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math problem. So this one says in the xy plane, a circle has center C with coordinates H, K. So let's just draw our diagram here. So we have this uh, circle, not a great circle, but we can deal with it. And it has a center C, right? So let's just label this C uh, with coordinates H, K. Point A and B lie on the circle and point A has the following coordinates. So H plus one, K plus square root one of two. So that's an interesting way of depicting point A. But since we know point A is somewhere on the circle, so let's just label like point A like here, point A. We know that what this plus one represents in relation to HK, and we know HK is a center, right? So this is our center. And so point A has the coordinates of H plus one. So H determines the X axis location. So we can just move this here. So we know this side length right here that we just drew is going to have a side length of one. And then K is going to represent the Y axis and that's a positive. So we're going to go up. So here, that length right there is going to be square root 102. So let's see if there's a good way for me to squeeze this with square root 102. Okay. And we know this is point A, right? So now it says, um, angle ACB is a right angle. What is the length of AB? So we actually need to label uh, point B. We don't know where point B really could be, but let's just put it somewhere on there, right? So we say, uh, let's say it's right here, right? Point B, draw B in. It says uh, ACB is a right angle, so we actually do have to account for that. So if you drew, the, drew this in, boom. And a right angle would actually look like this. So what I'm gonna do is erase this over here, oops. Well, there goes our entire uh, circle, there we go. So now I can actually draw B in. B, boom. Okay, cool. So we know that this is a right angle. This angle ACB is a right angle as they told us. And they want us to find the side length of AB. So AB is going to be this side length right here. It's gonna go across, all right? So we need to find the side length of that, and that's the hypotenuse. So in reality, what we can see here is that um, we have two triangles encompassing each other and making up one triangle, all right? So in order to solve this problem, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem. So first off, in this first triangle, we're gonna have a triangle AC and then this random point out here. So let's just call this like X. So triangle ACX, right? is going to have side lengths of square root 102 and 1. And those are the legs, right? And we know this is the right triangle. So we need to use a Pythagorean theorem in order to find that hypotenuse length. So that Pythagorean theorem is just a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So we have square root 102. Oops. Square root 102 squared plus 1 squared, which is just 1, equals c squared. So we end up getting 102 plus 1 equals c squared. So in reality, what we get is 103 equals c squared. So we know that if we just take the square root of both sides, c is going to equal square root 103. So we found the side length of this side now, so square root 103. And so here is something you want to take note of, right? Side length ac is going to represent the radius, right? That hypotenuse leg. Uh, just the hypotenuse in general right here represents the radius from the center out to one of the points because point A is on the circle. The same thing is occurring with point B. Point B lies on the circle and is also connected to C, the center. Therefore, this represents the radius, right? AC, the distance of one uh, square root 103, that's the radius. And so we can just apply that same value to side link CB. And the question wants us to find the length of AB. And so now we know the length of two of the legs, square root 103 for both sides. And we just use the Pythagorean theorem again to find the length of AB. So then we have square root 103 squared plus square root 103 squared equals C squared. So then we get 103 plus 103 is 206 equals C squared. Then we just take the square root of both sides. We can see that the answer is going to be square root 206. And so our answer choice is A.